Hello, Miguel from Grumo here, and today I want to showcase an app that I've built for a client that I'm very proud of. And the reason why is because this app could save lives at hospitals. This is not the actual app because I'm not allowed to show the actual app, but more or less it works like this. At emergency rooms in hospitals, doctors have to follow very strict step-by-step -step procedures in order to deal with emergencies. Forgetting a step or doing the wrong step at the wrong time could cost people's lives. So with the guidance of this client, I built a procedures app that is going to be tested in some hospitals to see if it actually helps follow procedures and reduce the amount of mistakes that are done at emergency rooms. Now the way it works, we have a main screen with a list of procedures and these are just sample procedures. They're not actual procedures, although the actual app does have uh, procedures that are being followed every day at the emergency rooms in hospitals. But this is just a test app to show you how it works. Basically, you click on the procedure and you have a main button that allows you to start the procedure. And then you have a list of all the steps for that procedure. Then you have records with the latest execution of this procedure and then scores because there is a training side to the procedure. So this app accomplishes two goals. One, it allows doctors to follow very specific step-by-step -step procedures and then train these doctors to complete these procedures accurately every single time. So when I click start, we have the first step and then there could be any number of sub-steps to complete this procedure. There is a stopwatch, which is optional. Sometimes these procedures need to be timed. So all you have to do is click the play button, and then the timer will start. Once you've completed this procedure, you just click next. Now, what's very important with some of these emergency procedures is that some steps are conditional, depending on certain variables. Not always the doctor will have to follow the same sequence of steps. Sometimes the doctor will have to follow a different sequence of steps. And for that, we need to introduce conditional logic. And you can see here in step two, you have up to three different options that on the field would depend on whatever is happening in real time. So you could either go to the next step, you could go to step four, skipping one of the steps, or you could skip to the final step. Now, as the creator of the procedure, you can choose which steps have conditional logic. So in this case, step two has that conditional logic. If we click on step two, you'll be able to see that by default, all steps go to the next step. But if you want to jump to other steps, you simply can add up to three buttons and select which step do you want to jump to when that button is clicked, right? So in for step two, that was three different options. And this is crucial for procedures that have conditional logic. Now let me show you how doctors will train to execute these procedures. All they have to do is click on the train button and this takes them to a multiple choice quiz that would be based on that procedure. In this case, it's just a sample quiz, not related to the procedure. But as you can imagine, the options here could be related to that specific procedure. And what the doctor has to do is just basically complete the the quiz and the doctor will get a result and then find out what questions were right, what questions were wrong. And by means of training, eventually the doctor would be able to remember how to complete this procedure as accurate as possible. So this entire app was built in a few days using Glide without coding. And their goal was to build a minimum viable product that could be tested in the real world inside hospital emergency rooms to find out if using this conditional procedure system would allow doctors and their assistants to be more precise and accurate when dealing with emergency situations. I think this is a great example of what can be built using Glide and also a great cause. So I really hope it works out for them and many hospitals adopt this app, which was a pleasure to build. Now, if you want to learn how to build similar apps without coding using Glide, check out my course at grumo.com slash go glide to get a 50% discount on a course that will teach you absolutely everything that you need to learn in order to build beautiful apps like this without coding. Thanks for watching.
拜拜。